Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my YouTube channel today. It's Melinda Sweetman here with you and I'm really excited. I finally found my mojo and feeling way better. I'm here sharing my first project for the Jack and Skelly release over at Tracy Reed Designs. Um, Jack and Skelly, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a super fun new Halloween collection um, full of fun icons. Uh, and I'm having lots of fun playing with it right now. This is part of the YouTube hops, so make sure you have a look at the box below and follow along, see all of the inspiration that the whole team's got for you. We're actually all having so much fun with this collection. Um, yeah, so I did struggle when I first got this collection because Halloween is not a massive thing here, and a lot of the other girls on the team <clears throat> do, dis uh, not December, October dailies, which... I love, but it's not really a thing for me. Um, obviously, I'm in Australia, so October we are starting to get warm again, whereas all of um, all of the girls on the Northern Hemisphere, they're going into winter, so into autumn with all those beautiful colours and all of those fun things, which we don't get that much of here, and besides, it's also not October. So uh, while I was, I printed out all the 3x4 cards, I had one idea, and then that morphed into another idea and I landed on this idea, which is I have a six by eight, six by eight um, album here that I'm going to dedicate to Halloween memories. Um, like I said, Halloween is not a massive thing here in Australia. I have noticed over the years it's getting bigger, more people are getting involved. Um, I really love it, uh, but like I said, it's never really been a big thing here. So, uh, in uh, I've gone through and I've printed out the last 10 years of photos from Halloween, which sounds like a lot, but considering Halloween is literally like the one day for us, <clears throat> there's not that many. So I'm going to do pocket pages and 6x8 in the page protect pages and the I think this one works out to 7, 7 by 8.25 or something. Um, this is an outside of the page protector and it is the cover. I have used a bunch of the different things from, uh, I've used the digital embellishments, I have used the stickers, I have used uh, 6x8 papers, I have used, what else have I used? Um, lots of different things from the collection. It's super, super fun. I love it so much. Uh, it is a fairly monochromatic, not it will get a monochromatic collection. It's full of different shades of orange, black, grey, white. So I really think it would work really well with other collections as well to bring in more colour if that's what you wanted to do. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to playing with this collection paired with last year's collection. I think that that could be really fun. Bringing in some pops of the uh, lime green and purple even. Um, but yeah, this I'm having so much fun with this collection. I've done a, another couple of pages. I've got more to work on, uh, and I know that the other girls on the team have done heaps, heaps of things with this collection as well. It's so fun. Um, you will notice that I'm <clears throat> I'm rubbing here, and I've got my adhesive eraser. I my sticky mat is being weird, but it's super sticky sometimes, and the sticky residue sticks to the back of my die cuts sometimes. Other times my mat just completely moves off my cutting mat, but my paper moves off my cutting mat, but that's a whole different story. Um, so I am left with some sticky residue and I found uh, I was very dubious when I first tried it. I was concerned that the adhesive eraser would leave marks on the printed pattern papers, but they don't. So if you have an adhesive eraser and get um, sticky residue on <clears throat> on your printed papers hopefully you have got the right kind of paper and ink I guess that you can just use your adhesive eraser to rub it off should you get any sticky residue everywhere like I do so <clears throat> like I said what I'm doing I'm working on my front cover um, my intro page for this album it is going to sit outside of a page protector in the album I've used one of the page protectors to punch a holes. It is, it does have four rings. So it is a Studio Calico album, I think I've had it for years and years. 
Um, and I do love it. It's a beautiful wood grain finish. So I thought I may as well use that. It's neutral enough that I can make it any kind of any kind of theme. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I have printed out, I think I printed out all of the sticker sheets. I've printed out the journalers. I've printed out the three by four cards. And as I, as this idea finally formed in my head, I printed six by eight papers and four by six cards and papers as I've, as I've needed them. And I've got all these little bits and pieces that I have clustered together. What I was using before was press and seal. Again, I was really concerned about using that on these printed pieces. Uh, I was really, really impressed with the way it held up though. It has, um, has lifted a tiny bit of the color, but it just makes it look a little bit more distressed and spooky kind of. So I don't have a problem with how that has worked on here. What, one thing I love about this collection is the black is like black, black. It is really black. It's awesome. It's awesome contrast to the orange. All right, so I've used <clears throat> I've used that press and seal to sit down that big cluster because I didn't want to have to reassemble it because I know what I'm like. I've used, um, I've stuck some stuff flat to the page. I've used one layer of really thin foam adhesive on some parts and two layers of the same really thin foam adhesive on other parts. Uh, and I really like how that cluster's come together down the bottom. I didn't want my little cat to look like he was floating here. So I've pulled out my Prismacolor pencils. I think these are the warm greys in 90, 70 and 50%. And I've just scribbled that on there and the cat no longer looks like he's floating. But I'm quite happy for my little ghosts to float. So you can see this is how I'm going to set up my title. Straight away though, I was like, I don't like how there's the orange and then the orange of the title. So I've flipped those two around. I really like the way that flows. Um, I love the irony of these, of these really um, totally not scary ghosts with the so scary boo eek. I, I fully embrace that. Um, Tracy does have a bit of... Um, snark with a lot of her things and I leaned right into that with these because how, how was a four and a half year old and a two year old <laughs> spooky at all so <clears throat> uh, our first photos in this album are from 2014 so my eldest uh, had turned so he was just over four and a half and my youngest was just over two so I'm like how can no matter what you dress them up in they're still cute so I've leaned right into the snarky, um, yeah, so scary kind of thing. Uh, and I really love how my pages are coming together. I'm just sticking everything down again. I'm using the different, I'm using really thin foam adhesive and mostly it's one layer thick, but in some areas it is two layers thick. I have used a thicker foam tape for the word Halloween because I just wanted that to pop up a bit more. That word memories is from a really, really old, puffy alphabet um I ended up I think I must have got about eight packs um and I've still got some left as you can see I've just pieced the word together with the combination of lowercase and uppercase letters leans right into the fun again I've got these Ellie Studio scattery puffy stickers orange gray and black because Halloween and it's super fun and I love it so I'm just putting the uh, final touches on here. The very last thing I'm going to do is add some gold splatter. You'll see my little tray. That's the one that I got from Kmart a few years ago. I think it was during COVID. Um, I even think I did a video or a share or something about our $10 shopping, you know, shopping challenge, which was fun. So I've got three lots of three. I'm going to add in my gold splatter and that is going to be it. So I hope you've enjoyed this share. Make sure you pop over to um, to the Tracy Reed Design store to get this on sale while it is on sale this weekend. I think I read it's 40% off. So uh, make sure you grab it. It is a super fun collection and I think it's going to be super versatile to mix with other collections too. Uh, make sure you pop below to follow along on the hop. If you have any questions, please make sure you drop them below. And as always, thank you so, so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. I really do appreciate it. And have a fantastic scrappy day, my friends.